Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm diving into an exciting application of ChatGPT, which is ChatGPT 4.0, which has just been released. And I'll be exploring how you can enhance your genealogical research with a specific focus on the practicality and effectiveness of using rubrics. In fact, in this case, I'll be using BCG rubrics, the board for the certification of genealogists, to measure the quality of your work. Now, while I'll be using BCG certification as an example, this technique of using rubrics or measurements it can be used in many other contexts, such as academic writing, professional reports, creative writing, and much, much more. Now, for those aiming for BCG certification, it's crucial to submit unique papers that have, been, have not been published or peer-reviewed. But as part of the prep for certification, many of us write practice papers to prepare for that submission. So in this video, I'll show you how to use ChatGPT to apply BCG rubrics to your practice paper. And remember, these methods can help you in any field that involves reviewing content with rules or rubrics. Now, the Board for Certification of Genealogists publishes rubrics on their website to measure standards of paper submission. And they're freely available on the website, as we can see here. So I've downloaded the rubrics from the website and here they are. And it's just a normal PDF. And there's a number of rubrics for each requirement within the BCG submission. And we're gonna look at requirement number six, which is kinship determination project. And we can see there's a number of different rubrics, quality of evidence, correlation, resolution of conflicts, sounds of conclusions, biological information, that kind of stuff. So those, those are fairly extensive. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at a re report that I wrote, in fact, a narrative I wrote called The Dixon Family Boatman to Butchers. Now, this has been peer reviewed. In fact, it's been published a couple of times. So I could never submit this anyway to the BCG. It's about 30 pages long. I've gone back in and tried to massage it a little bit so it will be more BCG-like, if you like. We can see there's a large number of citations here and it's a fairly complex report I would say but it's not overly complex so I'm going to ask ChatGPT to use the rubrics for requirement number six as we can see here and analyze my report which is a narrative it's a kinship project against my uh, give me their give me its assessment against the rubrics so now we have the both the documents we can go into ChatGPT. So we here we are at the latest version of ChatGPT and this ChatGPT 4.0. It's perfectly free. It's a new enhanced version. The old versions were actually 4 and 3.5 as we can see 4 are newest and most advanced model. Perfectly free. You don't need an account but an account will help you. Now the beauty of this model is I can load up documents. You used to be able to do that with a paid version. I can load up documents here. I can load up the two documents I want, which is the rubrics and the report. And I can just say open and they're now within ChatGPT. So what I'll do is I'll go to my previous conversation with ChatGPT and we'll go back up to the top. Now this is called a prompt here and be very careful about how you write your request to ChatGPT, and this is what I wrote. Please evaluate critically the report, the Dixon family, Boatman to Butchers against the BCG rubrics for requirement six, kinship determination project, grade strictly. Now, that's cru crucial. I'm asking ChatGPT to be very strict on how it grades. Pay close attention to any minor or significant lapses. Identify detailed areas that do not fully meet the standards. Now. What I'll do is I'll put this particular prompt in the comments because the way you write the prompt will really affect how ChatGPT analyzes your work. So ChatGPT now goes and looks at my report and looks at each one of the rubrics, KD1, KD2, KD3, KD4. And because I've asked it to grade strictly, obviously because this paper wasn't written specifically for BCG, it tells me what the standard is and then evaluate. So extent of research, the research in Dixon family, Boatman to Butchers is extensive, but occasionally lacks breadth in exploring all relevant sources and jurisdictions. 
and it gives me a for instance for instance while this document includes many baptisms and marriages it does not extensively cover wills land records or other documents that could provide additional context or verification and it's graded me partially meet standards and again adequacy of source, source citations and there's the standard sources must be cited fully and consistently and the report includes numerous citations but they are inconsistent in format because I rushed to get some of these put in and for example entries from Find My Pass and Google Books are cited differently and not all citations include full archival references and again partially meet standards and on and on it goes through each one of the rubrics and it goes through my report measuring the rubrics against the report and tells me how I'm doing and each one is actually partially meet standards as one would expect uh, one is not applicable, the respect for privacy. Now then it gives me an overall evaluation, the report, uh, blah, 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 demonstrates a good effort in meeting many of the BCG standards. And just on the side here, I have not told ChatGPT anything else. It doesn't know anything else about me. It just knows the rubrics and my report. So now I can continue with the conversation. I can ask ChatGPT to do many, many things. So I've said, please give me five specific examples of where I can improve. So I can have this conversation. Now ChatGPT knows what my report is, knows what the standards are. I can ask ChatGPT to ask me to give me suggestions about how to improve this. And remember, this is my thoughts. This is my work. I'm just using ChatGPT to help me focus on areas that are not very good. I'm not going to ask ChatGPT to correct it for me. That wouldn't improve my work in any way it'd just be basically cheating but anyway I've asked it to give me five specific examples and it consistently completeness of source, source citations as you saw earlier it said partially meets grade and it gives me some examples here some citations are inconsistent in formatting and improvement ensure all citations follow a consistent format include full archival references and it gives me one example now now I can go through now I know where I'm falling short of the rubrics. Number two, I need a broader range of sources. Obviously this wasn't written for BCG, so I've relied on Ancestry, Find My Past, Google Books. So it says the research relies heavily on baptism and marriage records with limited exploration of other potential sources. And then it tells me how to improve. And it goes through resolution of conflict and evidence. Some conflicts such as the varying use of the surnames Drust and Thrush are not fully resolved. And it goes on and I could resolve those and ask then ask chat GPD for five more areas and it gives me some examples of citations here and it gives me some examples of how to improve it now obviously this is just a minimal conversation I can ask it now to you know um, how many citations Are incorrect and we'll see if it comes up with you know it actually did a typo there instead I said how citations are incorrect and it's actually come back so I'll say how many yeah so it's coming back and saying current citation issues and improvements and it's inconsistent use of URLs and I know we all struggle with citations so this is helping me focus on citations and getting them right so I could continue the different conversations here it's told me how to really think about producing a report that is a much better quality for in this case for BCG submission now this can be anything I could there's rubrics and standards for many many things so I'm not suggesting you use chat GPT to rewrite your work but it really will help you if when you're doing the practice, any practice work, any practice reports, it will help you formalize your skills and get ready for submission of your BCG or any other academic certification or submission. So there you go. It's amazing. If you've got any questions about ChatGPT or using this, please send me a comment in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's, it's new, it's exciting, you know, I love the intersection of genealogy and artificial intelligence. It's really going to make us all better genealogists. 
If you had the time, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. There'll be more to come on artificial intelligence, I'm sure. You take care and good luck with your research.